Love don't mean a thing I thought love was everything My mama told me love ain't everything It just causes more pain Love don't mean a thing I thought love was everything My mama told me love ain't everything Stop! Excuse me. No. Uh, a crazy woman cr crawled out of my hotel mirror. Wow. Wow. Really, bruh? A crazy woman crawled out of my hotel mirror to rob me. Are you serious, bruh? Really? Bruh. God. Damn, sup? Oh. This past Monday, Susan and her co-workers returned to their hotel from a day of working out in the field. Rebecca and Susan stood outside their rooms. She opened hers and saw someone in the bathroom. How yeah. See, see, let me, let me, let, God forbid, let me do like, be in a situation like that. Like, I, I'm coming home, right? And I'm, I know I'm the only motherfucker that lives in my house, but let me come home or like my apartment let me come home right and i open up the door and i see somebody like like brush past like i know i know it's a person but i barely saw that person but i know it's a person let mm -mm, nope what's the one which one which one saw it was it uh was it i forgot i forgot the names already was it Susie and rebecca or something like that they live right next door to each other. So I'm gonna go ahead and just close my door and then I'm gonna go ahead and sleep over my uh my man's house. What's her name? Susie or whatever? Yeah, just saying. Cause I'm not about to I'm not about to, I'm not doing it. There's clearly somebody in my house. I'm not about to nope. Nah. You got it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it, bro. <laughs> Nobody answered. My ass. Her first instinct was that it was a cleaning lady in there. And then she saw her bag and her clothes in the woman's hand. What the what hell? What are you doing with my stuff? She said. The lady kept mumbling about how her key still worked and that's how she got in. Susan was in shock and the woman was obviously very flustered having been caught mid-robbery. She dropped the bags and fumbled around with her purse and the white plastic bag. By this time, Rebecca was behind her watching all the insanity unfold. The woman was scrambling and walking towards the door and Susan said, What's in the bag? No, no, it's uh, just my things. It's just my things. I'll show you. Susan looked and didn't see anything of hers inside, so she let her leave. She went into her room and it's been ransacked. All of her electronics were still there. Then she went into the bathroom and saw her underwear, her bikini, and clothes shoved into her own bags randomly. Even a passport was shoved in there. Then Susan looked in the drawers and saw that she got into her medication. She ran out the door to go find her. She went down to the laundry room and out to the sides of the hotel and didn't see her anywhere. Dang. Susan realized that she was never going to find her. So she and her co-worker went to the lobby to tell them what happened and then called the police. They went back up to the room to wait and noticed that there was a metal bat near the bed. But there's also a flashlight on the end. The police got there and took their statements and looked around the room as well. One thing Susan noticed was that there were bits of drywall in the sink and she pointed it out to the cops but none of them really knew where it came from. They started looking at the door to see if she pried her way in somehow but there was nothing. They just kind of went with the idea that she had a spare key or something even though the hotel front desk was at- I feel like the motherfucker, right her, her? I feel like she's in cahoots with the one that literally came out the mirror. Just like. And that there's no way that could be. The officer that came called for another because they thought the woman might still be in the vicinity. But after Susan and her co-worker's statements were taken, there was nothing else they could really do, so they left. Susan sat down to finally make some calls to tell people. And as she's on the phone, she's thinking about the drywall in the sink, and it still didn't make any sense to her. 
she goes into the bathroom and looks at the drywall and the mirror close to it. Why did I and jump? It kicked her. She got Rebecca to help pull at this mirror on the wall, and it turns out it was attached on the top. There was a hole there, just big enough for a desperate junkie to squeeze through. Damn. She asked if she could call the cops again to let them know what they just found. And her boss said that there were still two cop cars in the parking lot. They both went back up, looked at the hole, and found a pillow, blankets, cigarettes, clothes, and toothbrushes inside. Where? My question is, how did she do that? You know how long that shit would take? Where does she have the time to do that? Unless. I'm trying to be like dramatic. All right, hold on, I'm gonna run it back. Where? Did she find the time to do that? You know how long that shit would take? Unless... Unless... Fuck. I don't know why I'm laughing so much. Like, it's really not that funny. I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna run it back one more time. One more time. And then if I can't get it, then I'll just move on. But where did she find the time to do that? You know how long that shit would take? Unless. The lady and the boss is in cahoots with the lady that robbed her. Just saying. This woman had been living in the wall behind her mirror for God knows how long. God, she had damn. access to Susan's room at all times. Damn. And the crawl space was just big enough for her to squeeze through. They took pictures of the scene and everyone was mind blown that this was actually real. Unsurprisingly, Susan and Rebecca packed up and left immediately. The hole in the walls were from a renovation and the hotel hadn't properly patched them so they just covered it up with mirrors. She could have been hanging out in people's rooms while they were gone. Susan never went back to that hotel. But every time she travels and stays at another, you can bet the first thing she checks are the walls and the mirrors. Oh damn! Wow, there it is. Oh my God. There, there, there go the waterworks. Oh my God, there, there goes. There go the tears. Okay, wow, those, my tears kind of almost came out instantly. Oh my God. I wasn't expecting. So this is based on a, wow, this is based on a true story. Okay, 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 damn it. I was not expecting a real photo Oh God, that makes this story that much more scarier. Oh my God. I'm suing, if that ever happens to me, God forbid it does, I'm suing this shit out of that, out of that hotel. Talking about, she, the lady at the counter talking about some renovations. So she knew off bucks, there was a, a hole deep enough in, in like, like the length, and the width, right, was deep, was big enough for a human to fit. You didn't really, did you think that was sus? You didn't really think that was sus? That was hella sus. I knew you was in cahoots. Clucking blondes, you can't, you can't trust a blonde, bruh. I'm sorry, I was kind of racist. Oh my God.
that was a real, that really happened to somebody. God damn. Mm. Well, I'm about to have some nightmares. Jesus. Ooh, I'm done. Fuck, fuck this, I'm done. Keep it cool, keep it classy, and I love you. Stay happy. My family.